Hello everyone, it's Matt Master Game here, and welcome back to more Epic Mickey. In the last episode, that is the wrong button, uh, we went through a, um, oh, what was the place called? It was something like, oh, I can't remember what it was, it's n a pirate voyage, that's the exact name, yes. Sorry for the squeaky chair, I decided to sit on a squeaky chair today, I don't know why, just a thing. So. Enjoy the squeakiness. In this episode, we are finally at Skull Island. It's the last area of the jungle place. And yep, just like last time, I have um, gone ahead and practiced beforehand. And this place, you know, is pretty easy. So I'm sorry if you're having troubles with it, but uh, I don't know why. Okay, so I'm going to have to put this in full screen mode because my computer's so teeny. So yeah, there's also a pirate over here. I'm not going to kill him. I'm actually going to ignore all these different bad guys because um, they're just getting in the way a lot. There's another red flag. Okie dokie. So uh, around this area, because our main objective is to um, make this boat go back up. That, so I'm going to show you how to do that first um, by Mr. Pirate. Uh, so there's three islands that we need to get to, and this is the first one. So let us get over here. And as Gus is going to say, there is an anchor holding down the boat, but it's stuck in this cell, so we need to go open it. So what you need to do, just quickly hop up these stairs, and up here is a sweeper. Just um, stun him by pressing the B button, and there we go. As uh, shown there, you, these things can be thinned out. Figure out this one, and we can spin the gear. Sweet. Oh, nice work. That's another way. That's a different way of saying sweet. Great, um, goodness. I did it properly without dying. That's another way of saying it. Although that bit isn't very hard, so I'm pretty sure I won't die. Or I didn't, even. Bah. Anyway, get some more paint and things. And painting and thinnering out stuff. And thinner out this anchor. It may seem like you're not supposed to, because you know the whole paint path thing, but whatever, you can. That's the point. That's what I did yesterday. So yeah, after this place we actually get to battle um, Captain Hook. So yeah, this is basically the last area of Ventureland. And after this we've only got one more main area, and then we've got the, the biggest boss fight ever. Maybe not ever, but still quite a long boss fight. as like the end game. Anyway, yeah, I sort of just spoiled that the final boss is really hard. Well, it's not hard. Oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna, I might actually cut that bit out. You might have not actually heard anything. I don't know. Anyway, go with Mr. Pirate. We're going to go over here to the other island. Uh, what is there anything to say? Not really. Nothing interesting has happened recently. There is a bomb guy over there. I can't remember what they call it. I think it's... Uh, I, I thought I remembered the other day, but I was wrong, obviously, or I would have remembered. Ow. Okay, paint him in before he explodes. There we go. Um, Olympics is on, I suppose. I didn't get to finish this place before the Olympics, which makes me kind of sad, but, um, oh well. Also, sorry for the lack of updates, that's the thing. Uh, recently, I've I'm going to start recording a backlog of episodes so then they can be put up more regularly. So this is the first of the many of the backlog. I don't know if I'll upload this one sooner though, or what I'm going to do. I think I might not, but I'm going to hopefully try and get through the most of the rest of the game, I suppose, when the Olympics is on. I'm going to try and not upload as much. Well, not try, like it's really hard not to. I mean, it's quite easy not to upload anything. You just don't click upload. So... Yep, I'm going to just get myself hit here so I can quickly hop over here. I actually went the wrong way around, that's why I had to do that. Um, so yeah, there might not, there isn't, there was, sorry for the lack of up, like, updates recently, because the Olympics is on and I want to record all these videos. I, ha I haven't recorded the backlog yet because it's the first, so yeah, that's why I can't say, you know, because now I'm going to have more videos, because I don't know yet if I will or not. If I will have lots of videos recorded, they haven't haven't recorded them yet. Yet, this is the first of that recording. I think you get it now, or maybe I've confused you even more. That's the thing. Oh well. Here we go. 
So, that was the second one, and there is one more. All you need to do to find these is basically just go around the perimeter of the island. You can also look on your map. Uh, I keep trying to press plus to look at the map, because that's what you press for Skyward Sword. Um, so it's two, and then take away, minus, whatever. Uh, so I think we've got these two... Huh. I have no idea where we are. Oh well. Uh, hold on, are we... Yes, we are around here. Okay, I'm going to do this first, because we're just here now, so I might as well. Uh, we can unlock a quest by going up here. We, I don't know if you need to talk to him, but I'm pretty sure you do. So, we need to go up here. There is, uh, oh yeah, just thinner throughout these things. Walls that are in the way. There's actually also a piece of content. We haven't got a piece of content in ages. That's a sea battle. Sounds pretty cool. Oh no! Is he alive? Yeah, he's alive. Okay, good. That was that was scary. I'm like, yeah. Well, he's still my friend, which is good, I suppose. So, another life lesson you can learn from Epic Mickey. Once you've thrown paint all over someone, you, can, you are then allowed to punch them in the face and they won't care. There you go. Try that. Don't. Don't try that. Anyway, this is Pete Pan, not Peter Pan. This is Pete Pan. I know. Plot twist. Um, anyway, he's a bit more flamboyant. Maybe that's the wrong word to use here. A bit scareder than Peter Pan. Well, he is. He is basically here to defeat Robot Captain Hook. If Robot Captain Hook is ever in a evil or something, so um, he has captured his sprite friend known as Tinkerbell. Well, I don't. They don't actually call her Tinkerbell in this. Just Sprite Friend. Uh, so he's dangled that on the top of his ship, the Jolly Ro Jolly Roger. No, the Jolly Roger. So we need to go save that. Get that. Ah. Get the Sprite. That's what I'm looking for. Anyway, up here we can actually get the Daisy piece. The Daisy's left leg. Also, uh, I do know that I didn't miss any of the ship, not ship parts, the Daisy parts, animatronic parts. So. That's good. Oh, I didn't actually paint that back in. Oh well. Uh, is there anything else up here? No, just some. Oh, actually, I can go all the way to the top. Wow, I didn't do this. this what a dismal place. Wow. Wow. Look at how horrible it is. But the cool thing about this is if I press 1, I actually go into first person mode and look around. So we did that one. Um, excuse me, Mr. Pot, you are in the way. Uh, so I believe it's this one we need to do next. Yeah. So let's go over there. Geronimo spin! Oh, I didn't spin in time. Oh dear. I'm going to do those in a minute once we've already got all the anchors away. So, oh wait. Ah, oh, what? That's the, that's the way you get in, not the... Not the place we need to get to, whatever it's called. Where am I now? Hold on. Uh, I am just here, so that's that one and that one. So... We have to go to the completely opposite side of the island, I suppose, maybe? Or maybe I didn't... Or maybe it was this one I didn't do. Huh. That's the thing. No, that was the one I did. Hmm. Okay, let's go to the other side of the island then, to get the other one. It was definitely the one I did. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Mr. Blocklings. Oh, you're the guy that I threw off the edge of a cliff. Oh, I see, I missed it here. I didn't didn't turn the camera angle the way it needed to be to see it. Anyway, I also worked out that, yes, the song that does sound a bit like Pirates of the Caribbean is supposed to sound like Pirates of the Caribbean. Because I listened to it the other... when I was filming this earlier, and I turned up the volume a lot more, and I, yes, it's definitely got a Pirates of the Caribbean vibe to it. So there you go. That's the thing. Oh wait, to get in there, because the... What's his face? Whatever those things are called. Sweepers. Uh, he locked the door, so... We got into a bit of troubles. Uh, let's get him to... Um, can I get him to thin out this? No. Oh, I thought that'd be funny if I could. Just help me. So you know what? I'm just going to use one of these. There we go. Simples. Just like the meerkat. I bet none of you get that reference. I bet 
none of you get the simples reference. Oh dear. Oh well. So with that, it's it. We've actually finished uh, Pirate Land, whatever it's called. Pi um, pirate. No, what's this place called? Um, skull Rock Skull Rock Skull Skull Rock. Let's go and look in the map. Skull Island, not Rock. Ah, I see. But now, before we carry on, we need to sort out the evil machine of doom, destruction, and death, which is literally um, turning robots, pirates into robots, not robots into pirates. That's what we want it to do. We want to turn it. Ro we want it to make. We want the machine to turn robots into pirates. That is what we're doing. So that's why we need to paint all these things in. That will then turn off the machine. Or start it up again. Or reverse it. Reverse it. That's that's the word I was looking for. We need to reverse it. Yes. So thinner our way behind this find this thing. Uh, and whenever I thinner something out, I always have the feeling like I need to paint it back in. I can never leave it. It just makes me feel uncomfortable. I don't know. It's very strange. Right, this is the second one. That is me squeaking the chair. I, I like... It's like one of those chairs that goes... Um, that swings back and forth, like a bit like an armchair, but it's not an armchair. Oh no, it is an armchair. It's not a... Um, old people's chair, whatever it's called. I can't even remember what it's called. Oh dear. That is an armchair, isn't it? No. Rocking chair. There we go. It's like a rocking chair. It's like an armchair and rocking chair cross between. So, oh, that's the machine. A bit closer up if you want to look at it. Yes, I, n I know I need to, to do things, Gus. Thank you. Um, which is what I'm doing, by the way. Thank you, for Gus, for explaining things that I'm trying to do at the moment. Now, where was I? Yes, it's a bit of a cross between, but it needs it needs oiling. It's a bit squeaky, so that's the thing. Wow, we have a thousand e-tickets. That's good, I suppose. Excuse me. Oh. No, don't use one of those. Ah, I didn't want to use it that time. Whoa, that guy has a big swing. It threw me off the edge of the cliff. Thanks. Did I kill it? Still hates me. Still hates me. Wait, I just used one of those sprites for nothing? Wow. Thanks, game. You're a good friend. I suppose you get it, like, all back before you even finish painting. Filling up the... What are those things called? Pumps, that's it. It's a pump. That's what they called it. I don't see why it's a pump, but, uh... I suppose it pumps paint. That does make sense. Well done, Matt. They did use logic after all. Hey. Anyway. Paint this one in, and we can save the pirates using the wonderful power of cutscenes. Oh dear. I mean, not oh dear. Yay! At the same time, they are pirates, though. I suppose they're Disney pirates, so they're fine. But if it was real pirates, then probably a bad idea. Oh well. Let's go see them by jumping off this cliff. Ah, okay. Oh, I've got to shake the Wii Remote. You can stop fall damage if you shake the Wii Remote just before you fall down. I, I always do it a bit too late, so I, I shake it once. I am splattered on the floor, which helps. Not really, but oh well. Go over here. Talk to this guy. He is Andrew. Gunner Andrew. So apparently all the other pirates went away and ran back home to their mummies because they hadn't seen them so long because they were robots or something. I don't know. We get a gold pin for that. Actually, we don't. We get the pirate friend pen. Yay. Excuse me. Excuse me. What are you doing? You are getting in the way of life. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Spl Splatter. Blotling banana. He is a banana now. He's wearing a banana on his head. Not a pirate hat. A banana. Whatever. We're gonna go over here. And we can actually get... We can get an actual gold pin. I believe it's an actual gold pin. And not a silly made-up gold pin, which is actually a pirate friend pin or something. No, we, have, we actually can go over here. Over these 
capsized boats. I have no idea who owns all these boats, but they weren't very good at riding them, I can tell you that one for a fact, because there's quite a lot of them capsized. Oh well. He must have realised that there was a, a treasure up here. He was going to go get it, um, but he failed miserably. See, how many gold pins do we have now? Um, pins. We have five. Look how many. We almost have the same amount of silver pins as gold pins. So, I don't know. That still seems silly to me. It's probably just me, though. Oh, well. I should have 40 pins out of 105. So what's that? 65 pins left, I suppose. If we used use math. If you use that brain of yours, Matt, you could actually work out words. Because you don't. Because you don't know English. Oh well. We're actually done now. We can actually go and battle Captain Hook. Arr, uh By jumping on this boat and painting in... Painting in this. Now hold on. How long has this video been going on for? It's been going on for 16 minutes. You know what? I probably can fit this in. Uh, it might be a long episode, but you know. I don't know. Do stuffs. It's my, my show. My epic Mickey walkthrough, not yours. I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to just deal with it. You might actually not do. I might actually just cut this all out and turn it into another video, depending on how long this fight takes. Because depending on how good of a platformer you are, uh, this could go really quickly or really slowly. So be careful. All right, we have to get on board the Jolly Roger by doing some platforming beforehand and dodging a mechanical crocodile. So there's some stairs that probably lead over to this right up there. Which is what we need to do to save the day. And you know, defeat Captain Hook. Animatronic Captain Hook. He's not the actual one, because he's not forgotten. Just me, because that makes sense. Now I've got a character that I think would be really good in the second Epic Mickey game that I feel like no one actually remembers, because everyone knows Toy Story, obviously. Because now Disney owns Pixar, they can put whatever they want in that show, so it's fine. But n everyone remembers Disney, they know Buzz Lightyear, Woody... Does he have a second bit to his name? I don't know. See, he's probably forgotten, I couldn't remember his whole name. Um, but no one actually remembers Zerg. That's a thing. Who's Zerg, you must be saying? Well, I'm sure probably some of you do know, but... If Sneeze in this game, then so should Zerg. That's that's my thing. That's the thing I remembered when I was doing this. Like, actually, he would be a great character in this game. As a boss or something. So there you go. Epic Mickey 2. If you're listening, Warren Spectre, it's coming out next month, so I'm pretty sure he's a bit late. But hopefully, he's in the game. Anyway, this is Captain Hook. He's talking a lot. He thinned out the stairs, which isn't very good. And he's going, ah oh, yes, finally a worthy opponent, because Pete Tan isn't isn't very good of an opponent. Anyway, to defeat this guy, you need to spin around these gears and things. Well, I'm not going to do that. We're going to get Pete Tan to defeat him for us, because we're too lazy. By lazy, I mean we're going to have to do a bunch of platforming, because, you know, if you're a good person, you, you do parkour. That's the only way you can be a good person, is to parkour. Don't throw people in the thinner and get them eaten up by animatronic crocodiles. No, we need to throw them. No, we need we need to parkour. Explained here. That's the animatronic crocodile. Wasn't he called like the timer croc or something? Because he has like a croc in his mouth. I don't know why he's just called the animatronic crocodile. Well, there he just says crocodile, but I know he's called the animatronic crocodile because there is something we can go get. Uh, which explains that he is called the animatronic crocodile. Right, we need to paint these um, barrels in and things. Oh dear. Keep falling off the platforms. Get down from me, rigging boy. I am a mouse, you fool. Your robot eyes deceive you. Yes. Get on to this before he starts thinnering it out. Uh, I find that he's like supposed to be thinnering out this like sail, but he usually paint um, hits you instead, so that really gets my nerves. Right, before we actually go down, uh, up there even, we can actually go down and get, like I say, the content, which is animatronic croc. 
there you go, that's how I knew he was an animatronic croc. And thankfully we didn't need to look for the pieces of him. Good for me. Right here then, up here. I'm actually planning, sorry about that, apparently my capture card decided to drop more frames. Thank you capture card, thank you for being my friend. Uh, what I was saying uh, was, I'm planning with the thinner path of this game to start next year. I'm going to finish this game, then do a link to the past. And then next year I'm going to try and do like lots of different series, make it a bit more professional and lovelies. So on this I'm going to do this on my second channel when it actually gets more use, because I haven't actually used it for quite a few months. So, oh well. Um, here we go. Oh no, I fell off! Oh, that stinks. That was like really far down actually. Hmm. That was a bit mean. You'll find that you're going to fall off lots of platforms, because, because that happens a lot. What was that? That was the weirdest camera angle I've ever seen. Oh dear. That was also another weird camera angle. Come on game, you can do better than this. <laughs> what, what am I doing wrong to make this happen? Seriously. I mean, when I first played this game, I didn't notice the camera angle problem that much. But in this series, I'm like, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous camera angle. Camera angles, they're not very nice people. Um, well, they're not actually people, that's probably why they're not very nice people. That's why, yeah, I just said that. That's why they're not nice people, because they're not actually people. That's the thing. Anyway, he's gonna thinner out these uh, barrels, oh no, the ropes to the, to the weights, actually, if he actually wakes up. Hello, mister. Game's frozen. He's not actually doing it. Um, okay. Um, sure. Right. You gonna, you gonna do something, Captain Hook? No? You're not? You're not, you're not gonna, you're not gonna, you're not gonna thinner that out for me? Be a nice person? No? No? You, you're gonna, you're gonna make me have to restart this boss fight again? You jerk. So I suppose I'll see you guys in the next episode where we actually battle Captain Hook properly instead of having to be frozen in Kryptonite. Nope, Kryptonite is the Superman thing. I can't remember what the, what the Star Wars stuff is. What is this Star Wars stuff called? <laughs> what is it called? It's like Carbonite, that's it. That's why I got it mixed up. Kryptonite, Carbonite. Sounds pretty similar to me. I don't know. What do you think, Captain Hook? What what was that? You you ran out of thinner. Oh, I see, that's why you're not gonna You're not gonna go and thinner that out for me. Well that's not a very nice thing to do, you know. So I do actually have lots of people watching me at the moment. I've actually reached almost five hundred subscribers and eight hundred thousand views altogether. So it would be really nice if you help those people out by thinning out that rope there. No? Well, you are a really nasty pirate, aren't you? You... you jerk. Fine then, I'll leave you. You can go around and terrorise pirates if you want, I don't care. Die in a fire, or something. Die in a thinner pool, you nasty.